Hi there, Vicki here. So today I finally finished getting the raised beds set up. Um, just so excited for this. So I started off by filling the newest raised beds with um, some cardboard. Um, this is just the same method I've used in the other raised beds. So utilizing um, just old cardboard boxes that have the tape removed and some um, brown paper bags as well. Then once I got that done, I did remember <laughs> sunscreen, super important. Um, <laughs> so I, I got my sunscreen on and I went to work um, getting the last few things that I needed. I also needed to fill the last couple raised beds um, that I had. Um, oh my gosh, my brain just stopped working. That I had put out. Um, so that was uh, also on the to-do list. Now, because of the ongoing water issue on the hillside, um, the earth was very soft and very easy to um, really kind of get in there. Um, I did find um, as I removed probably this shovel full of, of soil here um, that some water did start bubbling up into the bottom of what will be this 12th raised bed. Um, so that wasn't ideal, but what I've noticed from the other raised beds that are existing in the water issue is it's really just um, helping keep the soil moist but it's not um, flooded the bed once there has been water so I think honestly it will be a good thing for the garden overall um, but I definitely am struggling <laughs> with the grassy, like the landscaped grassy portion, um, as opposed to the native grasses, the landscaped grass just does not have the root system necessary to withstand the moisture content in the soil. And it really does not feel super stable. Um, now, it's not like I had a choice in this. Um, the builders did what they wanted to do with my house um, and the land, you know. So um, it's something that I'm trying to work through because it is it's just getting progressively softer and softer and softer. So um, any ideas are welcome. <laughs> But, um, man, I was so proud at this moment. Like, the the end is in sight in terms of getting this stuff, the garden, not the stuff, the garden, set up so that I can actually plant my little seedlings and other seeds that I wanted to start directly in the yard. I'm just so excited. So, after I got that one in, it did need some soil um, behind and front and on the sides of the raised bed. So what I ended up doing was digging some from the upper, I guess, left-hand corner of the yard. Um, and I used my little bucket to carry that over because carrying over one shovel full at a time was just not going to cut it for this. Um, is it tedious? Yes. Do I enjoy walking up and down the stairs like 50 times <laughs> to, to do this stuff? Not particularly, but when I'm actually just uh, picking or watering, it will not be quite so intensive in terms of climbing dozens of flights of stairs um, because I, I just won't be going up and down and up and down and up and down like I am hauling buckets fulls of sand or big bags of soil. Um, you know, it's just going to be a little different, I think, in practice. Now, what I have already contemplated is some longer term plans for the backyard. Like this is good for now because digging stairs is free <laughs> and my budget was sort of spent on getting the raised beds and buying the soil and getting seeds and all of that other setup that I needed to do but longer term maybe next year my budget could go towards building some real steps out of wood 
or maybe stone. I would love to have some permanent steps um, that aren't going to erode. <laughs> so uh, longer term plans. But I guess that's always the thing when you're um, enjoying spending time outside in, in the backyard, um, in the garden, that there's always there's always improvements and things you wish you could do. Um, and I am certainly <laughs> not immune to that feeling. I wish I could do all the things all the time. But anywho, started filling these last three is what I had to fill with soil. So it's the same mixture essentially that I've used in other beds. It's that um, stay green flower and vegetable um soil and then uh, mushroom compost now I was I did bad math I guess when I was buying the last round of mushroom compost and I was one bag shy and I was not going to go back to the store for one bag of mushroom compost at this point so instead I just split the two bags across the three beds so I have no idea how much that is but it's a little less than the other raised beds have. The other thing that I noticed is that I was running out of the vermiculite. So I had started off with a big bag of perlite and a big bag of vermiculite and I thought it would be enough for the 12 raised beds. It really was not. Um, so I did use all that I had and then I waited um, and ultimately decided to leave it unmixed on top so that I can go back to the store and buy maybe just two or three little bags of perlite and mix in with the top layers of my um, soil mixture if that makes sense so I didn't I guess I didn't quite get it all finished <laughs> but oh it's so close <laughs> And I feel like I can actually proceed to start planting now, which is just absolutely exciting. I'm just thrilled. <laughs> so here I am trying to kind of measure out and portion out the remaining of the vermiculite. Um, and it just really was not enough. So I did get every little bit out of the bottom of my wheelbarrow. And then I stole a little from the middle bed so that I had an even portion over there for the one on the left. Um, and then I mixed this bottom layer all together. Um, I was having a little difficulty navigating the wet, wet, wet grass, <laughs> but um, it's okay. We managed. Um, and then I went ahead and put more of the stay green flower mixture on top. And then I went back to the garage for the last um, bag of soil or bags potentially of soil. But um, honestly, just reflecting back, it has been such a wild time <laughs> with how much work I've already put into the backyard. I am feeling so good about it, and I just can't wait to see how this is all going to turn out, you know? <laughs> it's It's been one of those things where I just kind of took a leap, and I am hoping for the best, and um, yeah, just really hoping that the best is still to come you know um but topping off the last bed here with the uh flower and vegetable soil and then mushroom compost on top and then um that's how I left it for now so um super proud of myself super excited for this progress and um I hope you enjoyed until next time bye